Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade an older computer to an SSD. Stay tuned. There's no better way to speed up your computer than installing an SSD. And even better, with the price of SSDs coming down lately, it's never been a better time than to upgrade your system. You can pick up an SSD for almost nothing compared to what they used to cost in the past. And they're not hard to upgrade. Let me show you how it's done. The computer we're going to be upgrading today is a notebook. So the process is going to be a little bit different on a desktop, but it's the same principles involved. On a notebook, it's actually going to be a little bit more difficult. So if you can do it on a notebook, you can easily do it on a desktop. So the first thing we want to do is flip the computer over. And I would recommend removing the battery from the computer. So once we get the battery out, uh, your notebook is going to be different than this one. Um, chances are you're not going to be working on exactly the same computer as me. So there should be some kind of access door on the bottom of the computer that will allow you access into it in order to remove the drive. So on this computer, it's really easy. It's just two screws that I have to remove here. And once I get these screws out, I should be able to get in to see the hard drive. So there we go, here's the hard drive in this computer and what we should be able to do is just unscrew it and pull it out of the computer. Make sure on this one you don't lose these screws because sometimes these screws can actually be different lengths and they can actually damage the computer if you screw a longer screw into a hole that was meant for a shorter screw. So just be advised that you want to keep these in order. Put them back in the same place that you took them out and you never go wrong. So once we get all these screws undone here, we should be able to get the hard drive out. And there we go. Now we need to image the old hard drive onto the new SSD. So we'll do that right now. Okay, since we're doing this on a notebook, we're gonna need to hook these hard drives up to a desktop computer in order for both hard drives to be able to be on the same system. So what we need to do is this computer that I have here is sole purpose in life is to image hard drives. That's pretty much all it ever does. So I'm gonna hook both of these hard drives up and we're gonna boot this computer into a program called um, Clonezilla. And that's the program that we're going to use to actually image both of these drives. So once I get them hooked up, I'll get it booted up here and I will see you once the computer's booted up. So for the purpose of this video, I'm using a boot disk called Parted Magic. This is actually a retail program. So this isn't necessary though. I'm just doing this because it's what my capture card needed in order for me to capture the screen. So. Um, in order to image this drive, I'm going to use a program called Clonezilla. It's a freely available program. You can pick it up on the internet and you can use it for whatever, whatever you want to use it for. Um, hopefully it's imaging disks. But let me show you how to use it. The interface is going to be exactly the same. The only difference is, is for you it's going to be full screen and it's not going to be windowed like it is right here. But what you're going to want to pick is you're going to want to pick device to device. And then I, you have to choose expert mode on this, and I'll show you why in a little bit. So choose expert, and then you want to go disk to local disk, and then it's going to look at the disks that are on the computer, and there should only be the two. Okay, so this is where it's really important. You need to pay attention right here. Okay, so you're going to have two disks listed on here. One of them is going to be your original disk, and the other one's going to be your new disk. Now, for the source disk, you want to make sure to choose your original hard drive, the hard drive that has your data on it right now. And um, for the target disk, that's going to be the new disk. So you want to absolutely make sure that you choose these right, because if you get this backwards, you will actually copy the blank disk onto your old disk and lose all your data. And just a tip, you really should back all your data up before doing this, because if anything goes wrong, you can lose all your data. So what we're going to do is the source disk in this case is a 320 gigabyte Hitachi hard drive. So we're going to choose that as the source. And then for the target disk is our new SSD. And this one is a one terabyte SSD. So I'm going to select it now. 
All right, so here's where the expert option comes in from earlier. Now, from what I've noticed lately, this is especially true when imaging Windows 10 computers. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to QL right here. And this, what it does is it forces the program to do a sector by sector copy. And unfortunately, it's really slow. But if you don't do that, especially on a Windows 10 computer, it'll fail and you'll have to do it over again anyway. So once we choose that, we're going to hit OK. And we're going to say skip disk checking, use partition table from the source disk, and hit enter. Now it, here it's going to ask you if you're absolutely sure. It's going to warn you that everything that's on the target disk is going to be destroyed. And our target disk right here we can see is our one terabyte. So we're fine. So we're going to hit yes. And it's going to warn you again because this is really serious. If you mess this up, you will lose your data. So that's just a promise. So we're going to hit yes again. Enter, and now it's going to ask you if you want to actually clone the bootloader from the old disk to the new one. And this we do want to do because we want it to boot. So we're going to hit yes, enter. And now it's going to go through. It's going to do all its preliminary checks and things like that, and then it should get to copying. Should just take a couple seconds here. All right, there we go. So now what it's going to do is it's actually going to copy the old drive to the new drive. And this is going to take a while, depending on the size of your disk. Um, this is only a 320 gig hard drive that we're copying right now, so it's really not going to take that long. Um, if you're copying a one terabyte to a one terabyte, it could take a lot longer. I've had this thing take sometimes four or five hours. So depends on the size of the source disk that you're copying from. So anyway, I'm going to let this do its job and then I will be back later when it's finished. Many hours later. All right, we just have a few more seconds to go here and the program should be finished. All right, it's looking good. It looks like we're just about done. This took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. It took several hours to finish, but that's okay. Sometimes it does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna close this. And now we're going to tear it all down and we're going to put the cage from the old hard drive onto the new one so we can put it back into the notebook. All right, now we have both hard drives disconnected and we have to move this cage over to this drive so it'll fit into the notebook. To do that, you just remove the screws from the hard drive. And you want to make sure when you do this that you orient the um, new hard drive the same position the old hard drive was in. You don't want to bolt it in backwards or upside down. It won't plug into the notebook if you do it that way. So once we get all these screws off here, if you notice, I'm actually leaving the hard drive in the cage here while I'm doing this. And the reason why is because now we can look and we can see where the ports are here compared to the old one. So then we take the old hard drive out. We put the new hard drive in just like that. And then return the screws back into the new drive, just like they came out of the old one. All right, now we can put this drive into the notebook and get it fired up. Now to install the new drive into the notebook, it's just the reverse of when you took the old one out. So what we're gonna do is just slide it into its slot and then we're gonna use the original screws that we pulled out before and put those right back in the same place they came out of. Now the final step is to take the cover that we pulled off before and put that back on and secure it with the screws that you pulled off originally. All 
All right, so now I'm gonna boot this up and I will see you in Windows. There's one more step that we need to do to take advantage of our new one terabyte drive. If you look here in my computer, you can tell that the hard drive is still formatted as a 320 gig like it was before. We're gonna reboot into a program called Gparted and we're gonna use that in order to change our partition without losing our data. So I'll be right back. Gparted is a free program that you can download. I would go to Google and just search for Gparted and you should be able to find the ISO image that you can burn to a disk. So it's fairly simple to use. So what we're gonna do here is right here we have these two partitions. I don't know why manufacturers insist on doing this, but this computer had an operating system and a data partition, which of course the OS partition was completely full and there wasn't anything in the data partition. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to destroy the data partition and we're going to extend the OS partition across the entire disk. And the way we do this is you click on the partition that you wanna destroy, you right click and just hit delete. And there it goes. So now we're going to click on the OS partition, right click, hit resize or move, and we're going to grab this little bar right here and stretch it all the way to the end of the disk. And then hit resize and move. And then nothing has actually happened to the disk yet. You're just telling the program what you want it to do. And in order for it to actually do that, you hit this little check mark on the top right here, and it will go through the process of modifying the disk with what you just told it to do. So this is going to take a minute. I'll be right back when it's done. And there we go. We're all done. So now what we can do is we can restart the computer into Windows and we should have our entire disk left. So let me do that right now. All right, we're back in Windows now. So let's see if what we did gave us our entire drive. So there we go. We have 826 gigabytes free. And that's all there is to upgrading your computer to an SSD. With the cost of SSDs today being so low, it's honestly not worth running a spinning disk. The capacities for spinning disks are much larger, but the performance for an SSD is just unbeatable. If this video was useful to you, then please like it and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. Thanks again.